Yo, what's going on guys? And yes, you're looking at two different accounts at the same time. So I'll scroll down one and I'll scroll down another. So today we're gonna to be looking at the difference in damage between two accounts with the exact same grid, the exact same characters. The only difference is that they will have marriage rings and maybe I'll do a showcase with the Primark so you can see the difference. Now, this may be like something like, ah, uh, it's 10% damage boost. It's a 5% damage cap on a ring. Duh. But how much does that really mean in actuality? How much of a difference is that, right? People probably talk about it, but you know, it's a lot bigger than you really think it is. And I wanted to showcase both of them at the same time, one with and one without. So that's what I wanted to do. I think I'll go over Primark as well, cause why not? Um, this is something I had an idea of doing in a video of for a while. So first thing first, look at the party. So we have two parties here. Now this is a 10 HP difference and a, what's that? 30, three attack difference. I don't know, to be honest, I don't know how. Um, maybe somebody can tell me, I'm guessing it's the rank maybe. Maybe you get, so you st oh yeah, you get you still get stats upon ranking, right? I believe. So I'm guessing it's because of the rank. I believe you do get three, I think three attack and one HP per rank. The account on the left is ranked currently 241, which would be three times nine being a whopping 27. Maybe I'm wrong on that, but um, it's 241 and the other account being um, 250. So maybe that's why the stats are a little bit different. I hope people don't judge over like 30 with a 33 attack or something like that. But you know, people are gonna be nitpicking obviously cause it's me. So we have two teams here, Kumbera, Fun Fun and Hal and Mal. Um, I changed them up a little bit so you guys can see the difference between them. These are stats of each character. Let's get an idea. We can look at the weapon pool. The weapon pool is the exact copy of each. I changed the weapons around a little bit just so they look a little different. You can see the Opus keys here. The exact same Opus keys. Um, I just put the weapons in different areas just so that you know you can see that each count is different. So stats are the exact same attack, HP, nothing there different. Now we have the summons. Um, I, I, I mimic the summons, but I just changed them, the location of them. The exact same summon stats. So I'm not going to be ogying in this video because th there is one difference here. I mean, maybe I will ogie, but I don't. I really don't want to ogie because here, let's go here. Classes, class, I think it's here. So, I mean, I, I guess I can remove it, but if we go down here, I made sure the AMPs were all lined up. So we go here. So right here, we have CA damage on one of the accounts. Right here, the left one has CA damage, the right one does not. And then we have CA uh, damage cap, which is on the right account and not the left account. Now I could change it just for that, but I, th I just think I won't Ogi. I don't feel like Ogiing because one, I don't want to refarm EMPs and whatnot. It's like tedious. So for this video, I'll just be showing autos which is majority of your damage, right? All, Ogi's is like a small portion in this pool. This setup is more about all, auto damage. So let's go into trial here. Oh, another thing I have to take note of is the support. So both accounts are rocking the light attack boost from the ship to get maximum damage. So you guys can really take a quick look at that. And I guess this will show you the EMPs of each character too. Um, I guess that's kind of important. So here we go, EMPs are fun fun. So the one on the left have an attack boost. Hmm. How much the NPC has? 500? We can remove the HP really quick here. HP. I don't care about the double attack. You need two attacks, right? Uh, double attack is not important. I'll add them back later, but this, just for these, this for this video, I'll add them for now. Not that big of a deal. I'm not gonna be ogieing, so the CA damage difference does not matter. Stamina is good, and the ranks are kind of similar actually, so that's good for us. Um, the the one on the right had the better rank, just so you guys can know. I can't make everything a perfect copy out of. I mean, if you think I can, oh, maybe, but the best I can do. So that's one. Next, we're gonna have. 
Quimbera. Quimbera. Cool. So we're here. We have one on the right having attack, the one on the left not having attack. How much EMP is that? 251, 511. I'm just taking the one with the, the higher EMPs and going there. But I guess the one on the left has um, crit max, skill damage doesn't matter. Crit, 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 skill damage doesn't matter. Debuff success rate doesn't matter. EMP doesn't matter, okay, cool, perfect. And these are the EMPs. Wow, another one where the right has the better EMPs, but the EMPs are kind of similar, so. Not EMPs, the rank, my fault. There we go. And for the last one, we'll have uh, Howlin' Mal. So Howlin' Mal is going to be a, a lot different because of one being 14 MP versus 28. But in terms of the actual damage EMP, it's the one where autos matter. There's no difference. It's just that this one didn't have Ogi boost, which is like, I'm not ogi in this video, so it doesn't really matter much. As for the EMPs, they're close. There's not much difference, just a, uh, a little 300 attack difference. So that's about it. So let's go test. Take home. So we're gonna go the trial battle. We're gonna take on the dark boss here. Make sure I have the right setup on both, just in case. Uh, correct. Takes 10 turns to max out their damage, thanks to the elemental chain opus. So we have to factor that in when we're looking at this. All right, so we do one test, we go to turn 11, I guess. Turn 11 looks about right. So same team, same comp. Um, maybe not, I'll put the order back as the same, just in case, you know, somebody's gonna nitpick that. I just wanted to keep them different so you guys can tell, but we put the order back to the same. No, I'm not gonna change the outfit to be the exact same. No, I'm not going that far. Oh, let me remove the RNG get RNG character from here. There you go. And I believe this is good enough for me. Um, I'm not hitting debuffs, so. Yeah, looks good to me. Okay. <laughs> Just have to make sure, you know, I don't want nothing to be off or anything. So get ready. So I won't have no music, obviously, because, you know, two accounts talking at the same time, nobody want to hear that. So let's go with this, 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 this. Then we'll hit Howl and Mouse Go 2 on both accounts. And I guess we hit Fun Funds. I'm not going to debuff um, this turn. Uh, do we hit Splang Spirit? I don't think, I don't think it really matters too much. Main character damage is not what we're really looking at here. What we're looking at is the other characters. So main character doesn't really matter that much. Uh, we will call stars the case because you know get the high multi attack. That was I think really close on the damage. But well, I mean that to be expected, alright? So here we go. That's actually quite big, the difference between them. Um now we're gonna hit the fence down on this. So you guys can see. Do another turn. So keep in mind the variance in this game, if you didn't know, damage is not consistent, so. But the account on the left is hitting way harder. Not even close. Outside of the main character, the main character is about the same, but the damage from the, the actual character, especially Fun Fun, Fun Fun hits a lot harder with her rank. This one aside. Yeah. It's definitely starting to add up. So that's, what's turn are we on? Turn five, right? Now, multi attack is going to be a factor, obviously. There's RNG on that. I can't, I can't literally make them do the exact same amount of attacks. I'm sorry, I'm not a god, but I just want to show you the difference here. And we buff up again. Um, I, I, I think it's use Shiva, right? Maybe I should use Shiva this time. Uh. Maybe people want to see the, def the difference between Shiva damage. Okay, go this here, up here. Uh, 
uh, we're gonna we're gonna max out the damage for Shiva, and then we'll do a little showcase of what Shiva damage looks like between both accounts. Um, we need to get, I believe, six turns for Howling Mal. So, not six turns, three turns actually. There we go. I'm trying to make sure. I want to use Kumbera buff as well, so she was ready to go. So I'll take one more turn. Now you're probably wondering about Howling Mal passive and all that. That didn't really factor too much, so don't worry about that. So we can do this, this. Uh, then I have I have no real way of like adding more of it, so sorry about that. Uh, hit this, hit that. So we're gonna use Star here on both accounts, and then we're auto, and then we drop Shiva. Oh, let's uh hit the fence down on both of them actually. There we go. Hopefully we get guaranteed TA on both accounts. That'd be nice. Please game. Okay, drop Shiva, drop Shiva. Okay, cool. Sweet. Uh, I, I can't keep track of both accounts, so I don't know if they both triple attacked or everything. I can't tell you. Sorry. Um, but that's the difference between them. So that's pretty, that's pretty, like, big, the difference between them, just the raw damage. But let's factor in a Primark now. Let's factor in a Primark. Now, I can't make a exact copy of the Primark on one account. So it's gonna remove Sun, I guess. And we're gonna add a Primark here. Primark. Where's Metatron? Meta, Meta, Metatron. There he is. Cool, cool, cool. All right, cool. So we do get a little stat drop because of the Sun being removed, but just sort of difference. This is where it really becomes it like a big problem, in my opinion. Like you can have like the perfect optimal Zeus grid, right? Oh man, you got five Edens, yeah, bro, good job. Oh man, you got that invested, you got that star too. Oh great, good job. You got Michael though. You got uh, you got Metatron though. Nope. Oh, that's unfortunate. Your damage is bad. <laughs> that's really how it goes. It's just like it's so stupid, but you know. Uh, like this having the primal and the grid it don't mean anything you gotta have the ring gotta have the, the primark as well to go with everything it's so ridiculous but let's 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 take a look at this we're not going to debuff it obviously I'll, i don't want to debuff it at the very beginning i'm just going to do the regular auto damage with no debuffs and then we'll go and debuff it so star here Okay, cool. So, I think in this one, main character damage matters a little bit more, I believe. So, we're going to use Splitting Spirit here. And we'll just pot, I guess. Doesn't really matter much. We're not Ogying anyway, so. Pot. I want the characters to be at full health, that's why. There we go. Let's do another attack. We'll do one more attack, and then we will drop a debuff. Wow, that was 3 million damage difference. Holy, holy, holy guacamole. Okay, here we go. Now, this is where it's really start mattering. Did I miss my defense down? Come, Bera, come on. You're making the video go wrong. All right, one second. We got to, we got to, <laughs> we're going to hit the auto button on both of these. I was, bro, why? Okay, listen, I don't know why, but every time I do a video, if you watch my videos a lot, right? I always miss debuffs. I don't know why. It's always me. No one else missing debuffs. Either that or people are retrying the video so many times so that they always have perfect debuffs. But whenever I do a video, it, I'll psh, miss that debuff. I'll psh, miss this debuff. And it's like, oh my God. Oh, why didn't you cap all your autos? Defense down's not cap. That's why. <laughs> it just, it's so tilting. Oh my God, dude. Ah. <sighs> 
Thanks, Kumbera, for messing up my video. But here we go. Perfect. Now let's please hit. Thank you. Cool. So we're going to buff up again. And why'd I hit that? Name me too. I mean, I'm going to do it anyway now on both accounts. So you guys can see the difference. And let's go. Here it is. I'm going to hit the stamina buff too. Ooh. And there we go. Eight. 816 versus uh so unfair bro that's so nasty oh, this, bro what the, did she just do like nine <sighs> metatron don't go look at oh my god so nasty bro bro eight uh <laughs> the same grid <laughs> one looks like magna and the other one looks like <laughs> it's so messed up dude this, this is what you have to deal with in the Grand Blue Fantasy. I just hope you guys understand. See, Helen Mouth hitting 100k higher. The same character, dude. <laughs> uh, I just hope you guys can learn and understand the difference in how much of these things matter. Um, when you make an investment, right? Really think about what you're investing towards. Now, this only matters in Bahamut High Level where MVP is king. So your investment in an LA and one LE does matter in every aspect that from your rings to your Primark, all of it matters and not having it. It's huge. Like the damage difference between having it is actually huge. So I just hope people think about this when they invest into an LE, um, especially if you don't have something like if you don't have a Primark, think again before you invest into it, because this could be you on the right versus, you know, the Chad who has like the prime mark and everything on the left. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something. Um, until next time, I'll see you then. Bye.